is going to be a story that is going to dominate the next couple days or so. Tom Brady making it official with this tweet. These past two months, I've realized my place is still on the field and not in the stands. That time will come, but it's not now. I love my teammates and I love my supportive family. They make it all possible. I'm coming back for my 23rd season in Tampa. Unfinished business. Let's go. I love PC you. style. All right, for a little bit more right now, we welcome in Tom Pelissero and Ian Rappaport, our NFL Network insiders. Tom, what more can you tell us about this decision from Tom Brady? Well, this is something, Mike, that Ian and I had reported on back on Super Bowl Sunday, that the Buccaneers were certainly keeping the door open for Tom Brady, and it made sense that they would want to have a decision from him now. They've got free agency coming up, any trades they might make for other quarterbacks. They've done a lot of homework on Deshaun Watson, among others. They did homework on Russell Wilson before he was traded to Denver. And obviously, once money starts being spent other places, it would complicate another player returning, even one as great as Tom Brady. So we saw Tom Brady at the soccer game where the Glazer family was yesterday. He had been thinking about this for the past six weeks or so. Already, Tom Brady, one of the greatest, if not the greatest player of all time, changing his mind and will be back with the Buccaneers in 2022. Ian, is there anything more that you yeah. can add on this? Yeah, I mean, this actually explains a lot of things. And Tom Brady did a great job of explaining it in his tweet, said he is coming back in Tampa Bay for a 23rd season. So all the rumors of him going elsewhere, that's not going to happen. As he said, he is going to play for the Bucs, and this is why... Uh, the Buccaneers did not make an offer on Deshaun Watson. This is why, despite looking into a lot of different quarterbacks, they looked into Russell Wilson, they looked into Deshaun Watson, uh, all sorts of different things, but they knew that there was a chance that Tom Brady would come back. And that's why Jason Light was pretty upfront and honest with us. He said he would leave the light on for Brady. Bruce Arians was pretty clear saying Brady wasn't coming back to play for anyone else. They are both right. Tom Brady comes back to play for the Bucs. One of the shortest retirements in history, which Brady set a lot of records in his illustrious career, setting the record for one of the shortest retirements, obviously uh, goes along with all of the other incredible things he has done. Anyway, most importantly, Tom Brady is back for 2022. Tom, how do you think this changes what Tampa Bay's front office now is thinking over the next couple of weeks and certainly leading into the draft? Well, the biggest thing is they don't have to look for the greatest quarterback of all time. That's Tom Brady, who's going to be back for the Buccaneers. It obviously frees up some different things that they could do. And listen, they've already franchise tag Chris Godwin. They want to do a long-term deal with him. They do have a bunch of other free agents who are out there, including guys like Leonard Fournette, who is something that Tom, somebody that Tom Brady thinks really high of. Uh, among others, Giovanni Bernard, who went to Tampa Bay to play with Tom Brady. There's a decision to make on him. A guy named Rob Gronkowski also so a decision to make there, both from Gronk's side as well as the Buccaneers' side, though certainly Brady's return, you would think, significantly raises the chances that Gronk is going to be playing somewhere in 2022. The Buccaneers also have to figure out Brady's contract, because last year what they did when they did a one-year extension, which is kind of what they've been doing, they moved all the money up into 2021. So Tom Brady's only due about $10 million here in 2022. You can anticipate they're going to work out a new deal with him as he returns. Yeah, just something to can, can, we'll continue to keep our tabs on. Guys, great stuff from you. And certainly, Ian, once again, I think you catch a lot of us off guard with that report. Certainly the four of us.